tables here, mate. Yeah, again, is that what was anything ever appealed to me? So I just driven past it, but I, the first time I ever came here, when I was, did the video every other week, I would have been knocked down. To be honest, I never came in here much at all, really. Simon Beer Bar 2. I always used to go in the other one, which was up by Sugar Baby. Fact, I wonder what this plot of land's worth. If they can get a licence, pretty good. That's why they need to sort out the water. A lot of money. A lot of money. It'd be nice to have it just to build your house on, wouldn't it? If you didn't mind the loud music at night. I would not want a house on Walking Street, thank you very no, much. No, but for a view. Yeah. I mean, just for a view. Yeah, but there's plenty of places that offer a better view than that, I think, around here. We've, we've, we've gone past my first bar. Is that one you spoke about? Yeah, earlier on. So this Ross Disco here used to be uh, the, the original uh, Rolling Stone bar. Very first one we ever had was here. Gary, the owner there. And then to the left of it was Exxon, Club Boucher, Cats A Go Go and Babe Watch. All together in one complex, it's been knocked down now. All right. And I was the manager of Exxon, if people remember. Which was there, wasn't it? Yeah, just on yeah, the left, just on the left there, yeah. I don't know if I was, I only went in a few times, I don't know if it was when you were there. I think we might, could do with probably walking back now, Dan. Yeah, just some one place I wanted to look at. Okay, let's carry on. Because when I first lived here, 2002, I was staying in hotels, but then we got a um, condo. Right. And it was uh, along here of a French place, CS, um, I think it's called CS Francophone or something, and it's 16,000 a month, but it was a lovely, lovely little apartment, and it had a, a window out the side, you could just see walking street, a little bit of a sea. Yeah. And um, I stayed there for about three months, which is up there where you can see the blue. Yes, 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 I can see it. We'll just get to there and then we can turn around again. Yeah, it's getting time for a cup of tea, isn't it? I think so, Dan. Yeah. <laughs> two tea bags, two spoons. Yeah. Okay, we would have been over on the left. Didn't yeah. We at the front, we were on the side, but it was a nice little place. It's 16,000 a month, but that was 500 a day. And that's back when we had like nearly 70 baht of a pound. So I always think that 70 baht to the pound thing was, it, it was only for a few months. It, it, it was over 70 baht for two, three years. I it, don't remember it like it, that, but I'll take your word for it. 75 baht, it hit 70, it went up over 70, it hit 75 baht, January 2005. Um, I hit 75 bar, 76 bar, actually 2005. That's when I bought my first car. That's how I remember because I had the money sent from England. And it did not drop below 70 until about March, April 2008. Then it dropped to 66. Then we had the credit crunch and it went off a cliff down to like 50, 50, went down um, a couple of years after that, went down to 43. Then it had come back up to 54 in August 2015. And then of course the following year we had the Brexit vote and it plummeted again and it's, um, it's up to about 44 now. Financial news with Danny Vodka. <laughs> <laughs> I've always ch looked at the um, currency charts ever since I've lived here. And you can go back 20 years on them. Nothing up there to look at, is there? No, it's very um, Indian and uh, Arabic. OK, right, well, we'll turn off a minute and we'll come back when we get near a side down. We're back further up Walking Street. Oh, forget, forget. We're back further up Walking Street, nearly back at Side Diamond. Going to go up to the pub and have a cup of tea. Looking forward to that. Yeah, there's a bit of walking. Um, gets you um, 
quite thirsty. Parched. I'm parched, Dan. Nice bit of Guinness, maybe, later. Yeah, when I, um, I'm going to England, I don't know how long I've gone for. It might only be a few weeks. It might be um, a couple of months. But oh, I hope it's a few weeks. I whatever it is, I'm going to have to do a bloody Phuket sandbox. Although, or maybe we'll be able to make a nice little YouTube series out of it. But, but things might change between yeah. then and now, Danny. You don't yeah, know. Well, do I'm hoping to, I'd sooner just come back here so, because of the finances. Hiya. I'm at the ATM and I've got the option to um, accept with currency conversion. Never, ever, ever do that. You will get ripped off with a dreadful exchange rate. Always click me except without currency conversion. The same, bloody <laughs> the machine's nearly falling out. The same with if you have money sent from abroad. If you have money sent from abroad, always have it sent in sterling, converted this end. You let your UK bank convert it and you're going to get a bad rate. That's a few thousand baht for a couple of days. No, can I give you that? I'm a lawyer. If I'm a lawyer? I'm a lawyer. If Didn't you see him? No. He no. comes and says, if, if police see you taking the video of a cash machine, you're going to prison. He Maybe. didn't say that, did he? He did, it's on video, mate. Why? I had no idea. Was he here uh, flying, yeah? Yeah. Oh, he meets some idiots. He's probably a lawyer. He probably knows what he's talking about, but he probably didn't realise that me and you were friends, you know. Oh, we thought because you were filming me. Yeah, oh, I yeah, thought about yeah. that and said, yes, yeah, bloody filming with me, a, you with weirdo. With a massive, great, big, yeah. like, <laughs> five-foot <laughs> camera. Do you want to talk about when you're, you worked here? At the windmill. You were me, me, this is where I met Phil, Yeah. the windmill. Crazy place to work. It's a nice place to go when you're a customer, but it's a crazy place to work. Uh, but just a legend, you know, and David has made, you know, a legendary bar, and he will go down in history and pat here, really. I have to say that. He's, That's a good night. He's done yeah, me too. Me too. But it is, it's a tricky place to work, I'll say that. Oh, there you I'm go. out of breath. Right, well, we'll, here so we'll show you Phil's pub. This is Le Pub. Here we are. Soy Diamond. Here we go. There'll be, there'll be some sparky YouTuber walking around here in 20 years' time saying, oh, remember Le Pub, Mr. Egg. Phil, never gone back. Okay, right. I'm going to need to walk back down a sorry diamond, get in the car. Now, we were going to go to the Patches sign, but I took so long drinking my tea. Phil's got to open, and I'm quite tired anyway after all that walking. So that's something for another day. And it's not like I've got a shortage of videos <laughs> of a patio sign. It is my favourite place to, drop, to fly the drone. One of the very beautiful viewpoints of patio. So I shall miss these um, temperatures next week. I mean, it's only about... It can't be much at 10, 10.30. I haven't looked at the time for a while. But it's already roasting in the sun. And this is cool season. Whether any of this will open soon, who knows? It's on a little bar there. Open. Right, where's my car? Here it is. Right, okay, we'll switch off and we'll um, 
We'll come back when we're back in the car. OK, back in the car, but what I'm going to do is go uh, hyperlapse on the way home. So um, I'll put some music to that. Uh, thanks for watching, and thanks to Phil for giving us his time this morning to come out and talk about some memories. I uh, quite enjoyed that. Uh, maybe the last video I do before I go back to England, I'm not sure.